Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers from Kazakhstan and here is the problem. Let the frequencies of pair of autosomal alleles dominant and recessive allele A be represented by PM and QM in males and PF and QF in females respectively. Given that QF is 0 0.6 and QM is 0 0.2, determine, so two questions, question A, determine the equilibrium gene frequencies in both sexes after one generation of random mating and question B, give the genotypic frequencies expected in the second generation of random mating. So uh, what is unusual about this problem? that frequencies of alleles in both males and females are different. Normally we do not see such uh, things happens, but in under what circumstances we can see uh, that frequencies of alleles would be different in males and females. And once again, this is autosomal alleles. So this is not uh, sex related trait. So that means that uh, we normally should see equal uh, number of alleles in both uh, males and females. For example, if we would um, use such example as uh, blood groups, imagine that in some population most of the males would belong to the blood group A and most of the females would belong to the blood group B or AB. So this is something uh, abnormal and we can see such situations only in under certain uh, circumstances such as founder effect when just a few uh, people would start a new group or population and we also can see such um, frequencies unequal frequencies between males and females if uh, for example uh, it is a bottleneck effect once again population size decreased and now we see that uh, because of the small population size frequency of the certain alleles dominant or recessive wouldn't be equal between males and females and of course we can see such um, uneven frequencies when we take a small population like say village according to our problem we have here two alleles dominant allele a and recessive allele A and also we are told that uh, frequency of the uh, two alleles that is represented in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium with alleles P and Q. So when we have two alleles P and Q uh, these two alleles can make three genotypes. Once again uh, allele P stands at for the dominant allele A and Q stands for the recessive allele A and these two alleles would make 100% in our population or uh, also we can say would make uh, 1. And uh, according to our problem our population consists of uh, different frequencies of these alleles in males and females so we have Q of F here and P of F here and according to our problem Q of F equals to 0 0.6 that means uh, 0 0.6 is a frequency of the recessive allele so 0 0.6 and of course we can say right away that the frequency of the dominant allele A would be 0 0.4 so if we add these two numbers, we are going to get 1. And once again, our uh, population also have different frequencies of these two alleles in uh, male population. And frequency of the uh, Q of M or recessive allele in male population equal to 0.2. So 0 0.2 and this right away give us um, estimation of um, frequency of the dominant allele 
in males as 0 0.8. Now we have a population that consists of females with the ovum frequency of this allele A, dominant allele A and recessive allele A, and male population that has the ovum frequency of these two alleles. Uh, probably more um, right would be to say uh, female fraction of population and male fraction of population. So these two groups would make one population that consists of a female fraction, so a female fraction and male fraction. So now we got a mathematical description of this population that we got in the first sentence. Uh, in the first two sentences. Now uh, question A determines the equilibrium gene frequencies in both sexes after one generation of random mating. So let this side uh, to be female side and we know that frequencies of the dominant allele A is 0 0.4 and we know that frequency of the recessive allele a or Q is 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is the frequency of the recessive allele. And let's this side to be a male side, this side of the Punnett square, and frequency of the dominant allele A in the male population is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and frequency of the recessive allele is 0 0.2. So now let's draw a Punnett square and find the frequency of three possible genotypes that um, allele uh, P and Q or dominant allele A and recessive allele A can make in the F1 generation. So this is going to be F1 generation and frequency of the genotype that is going to be capital A. Capital A is going to be 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.8. And the frequency of this genotype would be 0 0.32. And frequency of the genotype capital A and small a, so capital A and small a, in the F1 generation would be 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.2 or would be 0 0.08. Now we also have um, frequency of the recessive allele here and dominant allele here that is going to make uh, heterozygous genotype. So we have to multiply 0 0.6 by 0 0.8 and we are going to get here 0 0.48. And the last um, genotype possible in the progeny would be small a, small a genotype homozygous recessive. And in order to find frequency, we have to multiply 0 0.2 occurrence of this allele in the male. Um, fraction of the population by the frequency of this allele in the female fraction of the population. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.6 would be 0 0.12. And now it is important to understand that uh, in F1 generation frequency of these uh, three genotypes, so one genotype here, second and third. So frequency of these three genotypes would be equal in both males and females. So in parental generation we see that frequency is different of dominant and recessive allele in uh, female fraction and male fraction of population. But in F1 generation we would see that both sexes would be represented equally in each genotype. So what uh, frequencies of the genotypes we would have here? Uh, the first genotype would be 
capital A. Capital A I'm going to use now one color, so plus capital A small a or heterozygous genotype plus small a small a and we should get one. So once again uh, 0 0.32 this is going to be a frequency of the dominant genotype 0 0.32 plus frequency of the heterozygous genotype which is equal to 0 0.32 48 plus 0 0.08 and this is going to be 0 0.56 plus frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype which is uh, 0 0.12 and if we add these three numbers we are going to get uh, 1 or 100 percent so now we know that in F1 generation this is going to be frequencies of the three genotypes and you should understand that about 32% of both males and females would be homozygous dominant, about 56% of both males and females should be heterozygous and about 12% of both males and females would be homozygous recessive. So now we would have a uniform uh, distribution of these three genotypes between males and females. And let's return to our question. What is our question? Determine the equilibrium gene frequencies in both sexes after the uh, after one generation of random mating. Determine the equilibrium gene frequencies. Actually here is a mistake. It should be determine equilibrium allelic frequencies instead of gene frequencies. So uh, let's do it. We have um, three genotypes here and now as you see these three genotypes is made by two alleles. Dominant allele A and recessive allele A. So once again we have only two alleles here. As you remember I start my explanation that P plus Q equal to 1. Dominant allele A stands for P and recessive allele A stands for Q. So these two alleles may, would make these three genotypes and these three genotypes would make 100% uh, of all uh, genotypes for this uh, locus in this population. So what is the allelic frequency? And allelic frequency is easy to find. So we have, uh, of course, only dominant allele A here, but this genotype is made by two alleles, dominant and recessive. So half of this number we just add to here, and half would be is uh, 0 0.28, and half of this number we we have to add here. So 0 0.20. Eight. So we have found that um, frequency of the dominant allele A would be 0 0.6 and frequency of the recessive allele A would be 0 0.12 plus 0 0.28 would be 0 0.4. Once again, uh, if we add this dominant and recessive allele, we are going to get 1 according to our formula here. So this is uh, an answer for the first question. In F1 generation, frequency of the dominant allele A would be 0 0.6 and frequency of the recessive allele A would be 0 0.4. Now let's read the second question B. Give the genotypic frequencies expected in the second generation of random mating. And because we know frequency of both uh, alleles, we can easily find a frequency uh, in the next generation of three genotypes. Once again, this is going to be female side, and we know that uh, in females, 
frequency of the dominant allele A would be 0 0.6 and frequency of the recessive allele A would be 0 0.4 and uh, let this side be male side and once again frequency of the dominant allele A in males would be so F1 here so would be the same like in females and this is going to be 0 0.6 and frequency of the recessive allele A in uh, males would be 0 0.4 0 0.4 and once again when we build a Punnett square we can find the frequency of the three genotypes in the next generation so 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.6 and frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype in the F2 generation is going to be 0 0.36 in the next cell here uh, we have to cross a frequency of this allele in male fraction of population with frequency of recessive allele in female population so we have to multiply 0 0.6 by 0 0.4 and frequency of the heterozygous genotype in the F2 generation is going to be 0 0.24 and once again here is the frequency of the heterozygous genotype which would equal once again 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.4 would be 0 0.24 and here we are going to have frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.4 would be 0 0.16 now uh, let me return once again to our question give the genotypic frequency so this time we have to give genotypic frequencies expected in the second generation or F2 generation. So uh, the last calculation would be uh, once again frequency of three genotypes would equal to so uh, frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype would be 0.36 and frequency of the heterozygous genotype capital A and small a would be 0 0.24 plus 0 0.24 which would make uh, 0 0.48 plus homozygous recessive genotype small a small a with a frequency of 0 0.16 so Let's check our answer. 0 0.36 plus 0 0.48 going to be 0 0.84 plus 0 0.16 and we got 1 or 100%. And this is going to be an answer to the second question. This is going to be and genotypic frequencies in the F2 generation. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.